Man, got around. OG Silk back here. And today, just like each and every day, I'm fortunate to wake up and take another breath of life in this plane of existence we choose to call planet Earth. I'm going to share with you guys the tales of victory and glory. The victory that you came to my channel with an open mind so you can understand the premise of beast mode law. And the glory when you can take my lessons and apply them to your life and make them your own. So the beast mode law is a part of your very fiber and your very being. To the point where you're ready to stand and fight and die for the principles you believe in. Because in this life, guys, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. Without further ado, let's get into the topic of today's video, which I think is very informative, education, and enlightening for you youngsters who just got hard heads, which makes for a soft behind because you don't believe that rain is wet until you're in a tsunami. The topic of today's video is the different types of homosexual men you were encountering in maximum security prison who are trying to get with you so they can give you the jism. Okay, guys, I'm going to just go down the list because uh, it's a lot going on, man. So I want to share with you what's happening, and I'm getting bombarded with calls. I don't know why. Uh, let me decline this call here, guys. Let me decline it. Okay. So uh, I'm going to just go down the list, man. So the first one I want to talk about is the transgender post-operative. Uh, let's call it a... Uh, wow, these calls keep coming in. Why? Let's call it a... Uh, uh, it or they. Um, I don't know if you. I don't know if you call it they, them, whatever it is. But why does this keep? Why do they keep calling me? Like who is this person? Decline. Decline. What the fuck? Um, so anyway, this is a this is a person who feels like they uh, were born in the wrong body. I'm trying to understand based on the studies I've done. And they feel like they were born in the wrong body, so they, uh, they're not happy, so they go through the doctors and counseling to have their, their dick balls and testicles uh, cut off and then surgically, uh, surgically, re re surgically reformed or designed to look like a, uh, a vajayjay. So, but from what I understand, those vajayjays... Um, they're not really functional. It's just an open wound that they have to keep. Um, I don't know the word, but it's, they have to keep this device that keeps it open or, or to close up. It's just a wound. And they don't get any pleasure from that, from what I understand the studies I've done. But some of those people have uh, schizophrenia and the psychological issues and bipolar, so they commit crimes, whether they're on drugs or not. And some of them are very heinous crimes, so they end up in maximum security prison. So I just want to tell you, if you are on the, on the yard where you see these post-op and you hear stories of dudes going up deep up in their, their post-op hole, then you're in a special prison. I don't know the, the names of the special prison. You gang members know the names of... There's special prisons for a special type of people like that that can't be in the general population. So the prison is full of those people. The next one is the... The transgender, but the preoperative. And this is the guys you're going to see in maximum security prison. Whether you call them them, they, I don't know the proper pronouns. I apologize. I'm trying to be informative here. I'm not a scholar in this particular area. But they still have their baloney pony and weibos, dude. But the only difference is they're on hormones. And some of them have had uh, breast surgery, so breast enhancers. Again, they got big breasts. Some of them have BBLs, um, all kind of surgery. So they got big, big breasts and big butt cheeks walking around. And they got the Botox lips and long hair. They've been taking hormones so their skin is soft. And uh, I think some of them have psychological issues too. I don't know. I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just sharing with you. Um, how would they end up in maximum security prison? Everybody, most people in max security prison have psychological issues. Whether they don't, they don't have anger management. They're not, they're not emotionally intelligent, or they just have a proclivity to just do whatever the frick they want. But whatever the case, you're not functioning within the the rules and guidelines of society. So you're in maximum security prison with the animals. 
So you'll see them there, and they're very, very popular. Wars are fought over these uh, individuals. And uh, it's just crazy what you're going to see, man. So you got to have really good self-discipline. The next one, dude, is the lady boy. So here, over here in Southeast Asia, it's a lot of lady boys. And what happens to lady boys, they dress up like women, dude. But um, they're not the same as a transgender. Like, there's a fine line of distinction. That's what I want to share with you. And this is my opinion. But a lady boy is a dude who's like really pretty like Prince or El DeBarge or T.I. Son Tiny. No, T.I. Son King who looks like his mom Tiny. And so they go ahead and accentuate their features, you know, whether, you know, whether they get, they wear, they wear makeup or lipstick, they get long hair and they dress very feminine, dude. And they look like a woman. So I think you, I think you can put them into the same category as a transgender. Let's just do that to keep it, to keep this video, uh, not too confusing. So let's just call the lady boys transgender. I don't know why I put them in two different categories, but here's the third one, the flamboyant gay flamboyant. So this is a guy, like, if you go over to his channel, his name is Laughing with Lucky. And even though he's a, he's effeminate, you can tell he's a man, but he's openly, flamboyantly gay. He likes being a bottom. He's, he made it very clear. He doesn't like to top anybody. He wants to be a bottom. He wants to be a semen receptacle. And they're openly gay and proud of it, and they just love it. They love getting, they love being a catcher. They love receiving all of the DNA you want to squirt up in them, the, more, the louder you come, the more they love it. And the next one here, dude, is uh, this is the booty warrior. So I want to share with you, there's a difference between a booty warrior and a booty bandit. I'm going to explain to you in this video. So the booty warrior, this is a savage barbarian Cro-Magnum type of a dude, man. You know, he, uh, he's got a genetic, he hit the genetic lottery. He's tall, big, swole, strong, fierce. He's a savage and he takes what he wants. So you want to get into the mindset if you don't know what that looks like. Go over to uh, Jack Donovan's YouTube channel. This is just uh, this white dude. He's like, he's a throwback from the caveman days and the crow magnum days. And the, the Vikings and the warriors and savages used to ride along on a horse. And you see a fine looking winch. You just take her. And her husband's like, hey, man, that's my that's my witch. And you say, off with your head. And you just chop his head off and take his woman like the caveman. You hit the woman over the head with uh, the club and you just take her, right? I'm not saying I condone this behavior. I'm just sharing with you the type of fools and uh, the type of Cro-Magnum people, you will, the Andrathals you will experience in prison. <laughs> so this is a booty warrior, man. And he takes what he wants. He's basically a big buck murderer. He's a rapist, a rapist, gay dude, man. And uh, he likes being on top. He's a top. He likes to make you a bottom, even if you're not uh, you're not a homosexual. He's going to make you one. He's going to make you his woman, his BH warm out, pillow biter. The next one I want to differentiate because a lot of you guys on YouTube, these prison channels get it wrong. I'm going to tell you what is the right definition. This is a booty warrior. No, this is a booty bandit. The booty bandit just loves the tightness of man butt, dude. He just, even on the street, he's doing it, dude. But he's a top, but he's not taking it. He's a very smooth talker. He's very um, co persuasive, dude. He coerces you, dude. He, he's like a pimp. He talks you into a corner where you feel like you want to give it to him, you know what I mean? Because of all the things he's done for you. And he's just like, he likes man butt, dude. He just likes it, whether he's got to pay for it with canteen or he does he does a lot of nice things for you or he's going to protect you. But he don't want to take it. He wants you to give it to him because he just loves man butt. And this is the type of dude who messes with the openly gay um, homosexuals with the transgenders and lady boys. And uh, when you get to the prison system, he's got no shame in his game, dude. He just straight up, everybody knows he's a booty bandit. And he's proud of it. But then on the street, he might try to, you know, act like he don't do that with his family and friends. But then on the down low, he's doing it. And then here's the next one, dude. This is the gay for stay. He's straight on the outside of the prison, but then on the inside of prison, he's not openly participating in front of you and your homies. But at nighttime, you know, he's getting people put in his cell. Because in the maximum security prison, 
You can have different people visit your cell for a night, dude. The guards don't care. They just dare to get a paycheck, dude. And matter of fact, they get turned on by hearing homosexual activity. I think a lot of them be beaten off to it, man. This is my opinion, you know what I mean? I can't say for sure, but it's my opinion because if I was a guard and I'm hearing some homosexual activity, I'm turning all the lights on. Well, first of all, I'm going to sneak and hear where the cell's coming from, where it's coming from, because this happens at lights out. And then I'm going to take my flashlight and flash it in the cell. And once I see the guys that's doing it, I'm going to take a picture of it. Well, I'm going to put my, my, my camera phone up to the window and then, because it's dark and I'm just, I'm going to turn it, and then when I see him doing it, I'm going to catch, I'm going to take a picture of him, and I'm going to tell the other guard, turn the lights on, and then I'm going to fucking uh, press charges for sodomy and grape and, uh, you know, all that, because even if uh, two people in maximum security prison consent to sex, it's still great because sex is not allowed in prison. Just check out the rules and regulations. So now you got a grape charge, you got a sodomy charge, and uh, the prisons went, the prisons went, like, I can't say I can clean it up under prisons because the lifers is going to do what they want to do. <laughs> the lifers don't care. See, the lifers don't care. That's what you youngsters don't understand. The lifers don't give up F about no rules, getting more time, getting put in the shoe. Because when they horny, they trying to go up in you. That's all they care about. Their lifers are like dogs, man. I don't know if you ever trained dogs. Dogs have an attention span of like five seconds. And that's all lifers is thinking about. It's like broken red and record. It's broken record. I got a hard boner and I'm gonna go up in ya. I got a hard boner and I'm gonna go up in ya. That's all they're thinking about. And if you're a soft, weak dude, that's a problem. So uh I wanted to tell you about the gay for the state is but he's straight on the inside, but gay on the he's straight on the in, he's straight on the outside of prison, but he's gay and so he's in prison. Because this is a problem for society, and here's why. And I don't judge people, and I only use the word gay so you understand what I'm saying, but I prefer the word homosexual. But here's the problem. If a dude is gay for the stay, there are no condoms in prison. Don't listen to these other prison channels, dude. Because then if they were to give you condoms, they're, they're, it's, uh, it's a nonverbal consent that having sex is okay. The, the prison rules and regulations say a man shall not lie down with another man because that is sodomy and great. So if the prison officials start giving out condoms and they're acquiescing, so they're not going to do that because the laws from the governor and and the states and the mayors and stuff, they ain't going for that. So there is no condoms in prison. So what does that mean, youngsters? That means you're going up in a deuce, raw, dump, funky, dirty butt, butt cheeks, and then uh, you're ripping his anus and there's blood coming in. And this is why gay men have a higher propensity for AIDS and HIV than women. Because man, when you when you going up in a dude's innards, you're gonna tear something, dude. It's, it's only meant to push out, not be pushed in. You're not supposed to have your shit pushed in. Your shit's supposed to push out. So then you're tearing the blood vessels there, and then it's all mixed with the feces, dude, and the bacteria, and the Hep B, Hep C, and there's herpes, dude. You're gonna you end up if you don't get AIDS, you're gonna end up with herpes and Hep B and Hep C and all kind of weird. Uh, bacteria up in your pee hole so then you go out in the street and being that women's bodies are built to receive things you're going to be busting nuts all up in their nuts just infested with feces and all kind of disease and you're spreading all these incommunicable diseases into society because you're not man enough or human enough to say hey I'm gay whether I'm inside of prison or outside of prison and all I want is man butt and please respect my uh Please respect my choices and respect me as a man or I'll kill you. But no, you want, to, you want to have this facade that you're a savage warrior, but people don't know you're a booty bandit when you're locked up. So you live in this, uh, what is that called? You're living a dual life, man. I don't know. I don't judge people, but when I want to tell you this in this video, to thine own self be true so that you are not false to any man, but most of all, not false to yourself. So I know this video was kind of graphic, but I had to make it, dude, and I had to go ahead and break it down for you guys because you guys just don't know what's going on. Am I saying all guys in maximum security prison are gay? Nope. I'm saying 80% because it's the Pareto principle. 80% are gay and they're broke down, or they're homosexual, they're broken down to different categories I gave you. So if you want to continue your criminal behavior, you know, you're thinking you're hard and you're a savage and all that, 
I'm just preparing you for Gladiator School, but see, the only difference is when you watch the movie Gladiator, it's a life or death battle for freedom. But when you go to maximum security prison, it's a life or death battle for your butt cheeks because once a dude goes up in your butt cheeks, his homies is going up in your butt cheeks and now you pass around and all those disease contained baloney ponies is going deep up in you while they hollering Alabama or Oklahoma. And then all of a sudden, man, your, 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 your rectum is so big, your poop just drops out. And then you ain't good for nothing meant to be passed around. So if that's the life you want, continue with your criminal activity. If you don't want that kind of life, man, square up and go straight, dude. The tortoise always wins the race, not the hare, dude. You don't want this fast money. You want slow and steady money because why? It builds character, dude. It builds resilience. You pay your dues. There is no overnight success. Don't be fooled. So if you like the realness and rawness, and you can stomach, man, the graphic nature of these videos. Thumbs up the video. And then leave a comment for the algorithm. Help the channel grow. And most importantly, if you're new to the channel, subscribe hit the notification all bell. Because I don't know when I'm be shooting another video. And most importantly, share the video. So until next time, OG Self back. Out.